Hi, Dale Tyus here with today's two minute bass lesson. And we're continuing on with the Chop Builder series, and this is Chop Builders number three. Now, if you remember, the Chop Builder series are a series of technical exercises that have a lot of content to them where um, they're very short, but they try to focus on one element of technique that you can kind of isolate, perfect, and then move on. And today's is no different. Today, I'm, 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 I'll give you, you've heard me play it, but really what I'm trying to get you used to is moving from one area on the bass to another area on the bass and being very smooth uh, and, and not being, when I was a beginning player, I would get to an area on the bass where I could play the song and just camp out. I had no confidence to move around the neck. I was afraid I'd miss my shift or I'd be out of time or I just wouldn't know where the note was located. So uh, for self-preservation, I started finding grooves and licks and things that made me move and it kind of got me out of my comfort zone and that's what I'm trying to do with this lick here. The other element that, uh, that I like about uh, Chop Builder number three is it, it kind of plays off of two strings. Uh, if we look at the, the chart, which again, the chart is at mtdkingston.com, go to the zone section, go to bass lessons, and you'll see a written, um, written materials column, and just find chop builder number three. Uh, this one starts by playing an open A, and you play it twice. You play, you know, technically for, for rhythm readers out there, you play an eighth note followed by a sixteenth note, and then you play the thirteenth fret on the D string, that's an E flat, like that. Now, after you play the two A's, and that note, then it's a series of 1A, a note, 1A, a note, like that. So go 12, 10. So the opening uh, two beats is like that. Now that happens to repeat. So once you've got that little two beat section down, you kind of have most of the lick because it goes like that. Then you're going to shift all the way to the sec uh, second position. And remember when we, we call first position, second position, things like that? It's, it's a system of kind of uh, uh, describing where you're playing on the neck by saying that if you're using one finger per fret discipline, second position means your index finger would be on the second fret, and that's where I'm at. And if you look at beats th beat three of the second measure, it starts again with the same two open A's. Then you play second fret, third fret, fifth fret, second fret, fifth fret. And it's... You want to just isolate that element. And before you put them together, make sure you can play this part cleanly and then play this part cleanly. And then, once you've done that at a slow tempo with like a, maybe a, a metronome to kind of keep you consistent, then you want to put it all together and slowly it sounds like this. The important thing is don't just play it one time and stop. Repeat it many times. And because you're, you're, you're developing the, the skill to be able to play here, then down here, then back up here cleanly, and down here, and kind of getting your hand used to moving to two ranges or two zones on the fingerboard. So pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. Uh, chop Builder 3. So download the chart, work out each section by itself until you can play it cleanly and consistently, and then try to play in the whole lick together. And I think it's kind of a fun lick. It sounds good. Put a little overdrive on, it kind of gets nutty, it gets a very Cliff Burton Metallica sounding. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, if uh, these are working for you, there'll be another Chop Builder uh, in a couple days, so just keep checking back on either our Dana Be Goods YouTube channel or on mtdkingston.com. Thanks a lot.